Meet Abdikada Mohammed, a.k.a. Ikrima. He's one of Al-Shabaab's most senior operatives. But he grew up here in Eastleigh, Nairobi's little Mogadishu, home to hundreds of thousands of Kenyan Somalis. We've come here to meet a man who knew Ikrima well. He didn't want his identity disclosed. We'll call him Haji. As teenagers, he and Ikrima hung out together, chewing the stimulant cat and smoking marijuana. Around 2008, both joined Al-Shabaab and ended up in Mogadishu. This guy called Ikrima was never on the battleground. He was never, never to be on the front line. But the guy was a strategist. He plans, he plans so extreme that those with him, they say, oh, that is too much, Ikrima. Haji eventually became disillusioned with life as a jihadi and made his way back home to Kenya. But Ikrima is thought to be a key link between Al-Shabaab in Somalia and Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. There are plenty of other young Kenyan Somalis like Haji who've been recruited into Al-Shabaab right off the streets here in Eastleigh. But in the case of Ikrima, it appears to have been his move away from here, his move to the west, that triggered his radicalization. As well as a four-year stint in Norway, the BBC understands Ikrima spent some time in the UK in early 2007. It's not clear whether he had by this time already joined Al-Shabaab. Kenyan investigators say Ikrima conspired with Samantha Luthwaite to bomb targets in Kenya. The alleged plot was foiled in 2011, but the 7-7 widow slipped away and her whereabouts is unknown. It's not clear what role, if any, Ikrima or indeed Luthwaite might have played in the attack on the Westgate shopping mall last month. But the authorities believe apprehending them is key to preventing similar attacks in the future. Gabriel Gatehouse, BBC News, in Nairobi.